What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. Today we have Josiah Fass of Maximum Bubble Mods and the winner of the most recent PDX Land Mod Contest. Welcome Josiah to GeForce Garage. Congratulations on winning PDX Land. Thank you so much. So what did you bring us here today? I brought the Galaxy Box. Nice, so what was your inspiration for this build? I really like building PCs for my family. So the last mod was for my father, which was Spirit of Motion. And this one was for my wife, inspired by her interests and her likes, which are mostly around like retro, sci-fi, aesthetic, something that she would like and that was still fun for me to build. Nice. So obviously you've done a lot of modifications to the case. Uh, how did you start this project? So after my wife and I kind of settled on a design, I reached out to Inwin, who sponsored with Inwin 315 here, and then I catered sort of the design to fit this case. So was the idea always to hide the hardware? The design is definitely catered to her, right? And she is less interested in the hardware and the specs. So yes, almost like a diorama or a little art piece that could sit there on her desk as a functioning computer was the goal with this build. Gotcha. I can only imagine how difficult it would be to work with fiber optics and everything. Can you tell me about the process of how you went about actually hiding all the hardware? The fiber optics was the most difficult part of the build. There's almost 400 fiber optic wires that make up that background. I cut to fit a piece of quarter inch thick acrylic. He did that and bent it to hug around the motherboard and the water cooling parts behind all of that. So I hand drilled almost 400 holes along that piece of acrylic, threaded through all those wires, put a little glue around each one of them, which turns out hot glue melts fiber optics. So glue choice and uh, learning from that as I went was difficult, but then painting it all and then cutting them flush so the light would come through and then the routing it. it took several attempts, but it came out really well and add some movement to the case. And speaking of movement, you have a little figurine kicking her legs perpetually. How did you go about doing that? It all started with the actual spaceship that she's sitting on. I went with a, a Founders Edition 3080 Ti because the board on those is small on a small water block. So I could sneak that into the spaceship and left just enough space on the top of the spaceship that I'm able to run two little piano wires in Teflon tubes to the back of her knees where there's joints and those wires run around to the back of the computer to a servo that's programmed with a microcontroller to oscillate and give her legs just a nice slow kicking motion, kind of like old school animatronics or armature wires right. and that sort of thing. The spaceship looks great too. How'd you go about making the spaceship? So the spaceship, I purchased a 3D model of it and then modified it so that it would fit over that card and water block. The finer details that are on that ship are actually kit bash from other model kits just to add layers of detail that you wouldn't get otherwise. And then that was all hand painted to sort of look distressed. I think all those details add up when you're kind of making a scene for someone to really look in and explore. The other thing that's in there, it looks like you have a tiny space station or something up in the top corner. What's that? So it's a little space diner fitting that retro aesthetic, right? We wanted some sort of like old diner, but sci-fi themed. There was no more space to hide uh, <laughs> hardware in here or components. The reservoir stuck out proud of my Twinkling Star backgrounds. So I built a diner to fit over that using different parts from other kits and old electronics that are broken. Put those together to make a diner. And if you look through the windows, you can you know, see the coolant in the loop and that sort of thing too. That's awesome. And then I noticed that you also made a giant hole in the back of the case. I assume probably just for airflow or was it more so to kind of show off what was going on back there? Yeah, both. The airflow on this case wasn't enough for what I was doing since we're cooling a lot through one radiator. I did up airflow in the back by cutting some larger holes. And the acrylic panel is a glitter acrylic panel, which kind of gives the impression again of twinkling stars. In that back panel, I like to highlight some of the hardware, right? Some of the Easter eggs that indicate what's actually going on in the computer and what's hidden behind in the front. So you can see the pump, you can see some water cooling, you see fiber optics. If you're into the hardware, you get a little piece of that. If you're into the, the art scene on the other side, you get some of that too. Nice. And lastly, I saw on the front, you have a set of numbers. Is that just an arbitrary set or? Yeah, no, this is for my wife and it's really a kind of a family PC. Those numbers are associated with the birth dates of my wife and three kids. Gotcha, that's really sweet. So is there any little Easter eggs or maybe tiny details that maybe someone just passing by might miss? Yeah, there's details like the little cat in the diner sipping a little cappuccino if you look through the window. 
The ship's exhaust pipes are the actual power cord going in. In its engine, there's blinking lights to give some sort of movement there. And then there's also little spotlights that run across the top of the build to shine on the specific parts of the scene that I want to draw attention to. Okay, so obviously it looks fantastic. You did a great job on the visuals, but what are the actual hardware specs of this PC? So it's all built in the Inwin 315, and they were also kind enough to supply the power supply. Everything is built off of EVGA's Z690 classified motherboard, which I paired with an i9-12900K that Intel provided with 32 gigabytes of RAM and a one terabyte M.2 drive. And of course, GeForce RTX 3080 Ti with all the water cooling components provided by EK Waterblocks. Well, thank you very much for bringing in your PC. We appreciate having you. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Thanks, Josiah, for coming around. I can't wait to see what you're gonna bring to PDX land next year. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you for the next one.